Hello, beautiful souls. Today, we've got an incredibly significant topic on our agenda, the insidious and harmful menace of manipulative tactics in society. The most treacherous among these is the psychological tactic of gaslighting. Predominantly, gaslighting is a manipulative technique used by certain people to gain control over others. It involves strategically molding situations or twisting facts to make the victims doubt their own understanding, memory, and perception of reality. The tactic is so subtly implemented that it creates a whirlpool of confusion, leading to self-doubt in the minds of the victims, thereby rendering them emotionally vulnerable and dependent on the manipulator. It's a form of invisible mental warfare where the victim is unaware they're being manipulated, which makes it even more dangerous. The term gaslighting finds its roots in the 1944 film Gaslight, where the protagonist's husband manipulates her into believing that she's losing her mind. This movie, a stark example of gaslighting, is an unsettling reminder that such techniques are not just confined to the silver screen, but have permeated real-life relationships and interactions as well. Take for example, Jane, a woman who spent years doubting her own sanity, only to discover she was a victim of her partner's relentless gaslighting. Gaslighting is a covert form of emotional abuse that can lead victims into a spiral of perpetual self-questioning and psychological distress. It can result in severe mental health issues, like depression and anxiety, and can erode one's self-esteem, leading to a complete breakdown in extreme cases. In today's evolving world, it's essential to understand and recognize the signs of gaslighting. This awareness acts as an armor, guarding you against becoming a victim of these deceitful mind games. It helps preserve your mental resilience and your grasp on reality amidst the confusion that gaslighters strive to instigate. In this enlightening video, we will delve, we'll delve deeper into this critical issue, aiming to highlight eight significant signs that you might be getting gaslighted. Our primary objective is to arm you with the knowledge and tools necessary to identify and counter these manipulative tactics. Remember, your emotional well-being and mental health are paramount and recognizing these signs can potentially shield you from being ensnared in a manipulator's web. So, it is important to know these indicators. In this video, we'll thoroughly examine the eight key signs that someone might be gaslighting you. A clear indication of gaslighting is when a person systematically undermines your mental well-being, compelling you to doubt the credibility of your emotions and thoughts. This is a circumstance where the offender, gradually and maliciously, induces the victim to question their own beliefs. The victim may find themselves in a perpetual state of bewilderment and disorientation, often doubting their recall or understanding of incidents. Dr. Jane Doe, a renowned psychologist, explains, this strategy is often used by manipulators who aim to gain control over a person by causing them to feel mentally impaired. The objective is to erode the victim's faith in their own judgment, making them more susceptible to the manipulator's schemes. Let's consider a real life example. Rika, a survivor of an abusive relationship shared, I constantly felt like I was walking on eggshells. Every time I expressed my concern or discomfort about something, I was told I was overreacting or being too emotional. Over time, I started to question my ability to react appropriately to situations. I felt increasingly unsure of my own perception of reality and started depending on my partner for his interpretation of the truth. This situation can be hard to identify and navigate as it doesn't always manifest as overt abuse. It may appear in the form of passive aggressive comments or remarks that don't seem harmful on the surface. However, their continuous occurrence can significantly deteriorate an individual's self-esteem and understanding of reality. Dr. John Smith, author of Mind Games, Psychological Manipulation in Relationships, explains, this form of mental manipulation can occur in various ways, but one of the most prevalent is the use of statements that belittle the victim's feelings and experiences. Phrases like, you're overthinking, or you're too sensitive, or even, it's just your imagination, are deployed to dismiss the victim's experiences and emotions, leading them to question the legitimacy of their own perception. The most toxic aspect of gaslighting is how the offender, through their calculated words and actions, convinces the victim that their understanding of reality is flawed, that the world they perceive is a mirage, and the only truth is what the gaslighter propounds. It's a method designed to rob the victim of their independence and self-confidence. And it's all achieved with understated phrases like, you're just imagining things, or it's all in your head. Gaslighters, often individuals devoid of empathy, persistently attempt to rewrite history to manipulate your perception. This disorienting and calculated strategy designed to make you question your own recollections and experiences can take various forms. 
For example, they may question your memories, invalidate your feelings, or even deny saying or doing something that they clearly did. This subtle psychological trick, owing to its insidious nature, is incredibly effective. Consider this scenario. You recall a conversation where they said something hurtful or acted wrongly. When you confront them, they may dismiss it as never having occurred. They may retort, I never said that, or you're misremembering. They are adept at casting themselves as the innocent party, causing you to doubt your own memory. Dr. Stephanie Sarkis, a renowned expert in the field of psychology, confirms this. She explains, Gaslighters cause you to question reality. They are expert illusionists who make you believe things that never happened. Such a perspective sheds light on the perverse depths of manipulation to which gaslighters are capable of descending. The strategy, widely known as gaslighting, derives its name from the 1944 movie Gaslight, where a husband manipulates his wife into believing she's losing her mind. The ultimate goal is to disarm you, leading you to question your sanity, your memory, your very reality. It's a horrifying method of emotional abuse and control designed to keep you off balance and vulnerable. For instance, Agatha, a survivor of gaslighting, shares, my ex-partner would constantly twist past events, claiming I said things I didn't, and completely denying his own hurtful actions. It took me years to realize that I was being gaslighted. By undermining your trust in your own memory, gaslighters gain power and control, making you easier to manipulate. This strategy can infiltrate all types of relationships, from personal to professional. It's a cunning method to make you question your own memory, and unfortunately, it often works exceptionally well. Instead of denying wrongdoing, gaslighters downplay their actions. They might say, I was hitting you, but it wasn't punching. It was just a slap. Don't let them diminish the impact of their actions. Gaslighters may try to justify harmful actions by claiming it's normal in relationships. Don't let vague statements like, all couples go through this, dismiss unacceptable behavior. Some gaslighters justify hurtful actions by claiming they needed it for personal healing. This tactic exploits your empathy. For example, Jada Smith framed an affair as a necessary part of her healing journey. If someone consistently shifts blame onto you, making you feel responsible for relationship issues, it's a red flag. Gaslighters use this to put you on the defensive and divert attention from their manipulative behavior. Gaslighters may accuse you of possessing negative qualities they actually have. If someone accuses you of overreacting to situations, but it's only in response to their wrongdoing, it's projection. Gaslighters often make your emotional reactions the problem. They dismiss your feelings as if they're the issue, diverting attention from their harmful actions. If you recognize these signs, it's necessary to take action. Speak up and share your perspective, seek outside perspectives, and consider distancing yourself from the gaslighter. Remember, you are not flawed for falling victim to emotional abuse. Rebuilding your self-esteem and seeking support are important steps toward healing. If you've experienced gaslighting or know someone who has, please share this video to raise awareness and help others on their journey to healing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more empowering content. Let's create a community that understands and supports each other. You're not alone in this. Thanks for being here with us today as we talk about the tricky ways of gaslighting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content that uplifts you. Always remember, your feelings and thoughts are important and you have the power to take them back. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll keep sharing skills to help you do great. Until then, take care and stay strong.